What's up, party people? It's Keys Dan with RadioWhat.com, DJLittleRock.com, coming to you live in living color from the Radio What studios. And this is my podcast, What Makes You Smarter? It's an extension of the RadioWhat.com internet radio station that I've been running for quite some time. And if you need DJ services, where do you go? DJLittleRock.com. Check availability, get a free price quote, and maybe you can have me at your next event. I like to play for the people. If you want to tell your story, I encourage you to check out my other podcast, What Makes You Famous. Find it everywhere using the hashtag What Makes You Famous. Now, on with the show. Today on the program, 10 things you need to know today for Wednesday, February 12th, 2020. 10 things you need to know today. Number one, Sanders wins New Hampshire primary with Buttigieg close behind. Senator Bernie Sanders, independent Vermont, won Tuesday's New Hampshire Democratic primary with former South Bend, Indiana Mayor Pete Buttigieg close behind. Sanders said his victory was, quote, the beginning of the end for Donald Trump, end quote, with nearly all precincts reporting. Sanders had 25.9 percent of the vote and Buttigieg, 24.4%. Both won nine delegates. A surging Senator Amy Klobuchar, Democrat Minnesota, got 19.8%, splitting the moderate vote with Buttigieg and securing six delegates. Senator Elizabeth Warren, Democrat Massachusetts, who is battling Sanders for control of the party's liberal wing, came in a distant fourth with 9.3%, followed by former Vice President Joe Biden, with 8.4%. Biden moved on to South Carolina, where he told a crowd in the capital city of Columbia, quote, it ain't over, man, end quote. This is according to the Washington Post and Politico. Number two, all Roger Stone prosecutors quit over DOJ sentencing reversal. Four prosecutors quit the Roger Stone case on Tuesday after their superiors overruled their recommendation that the longtime President Trump advisor be sentenced to up to nine years in prison. The Justice Department said it would reduce the prison term it's seeking for Stone, who was convicted in 2017 of lying to Congress about his efforts to get hacked information on Democrats from WikiLeaks to help Trump's campaign. A senior Justice Department official said that the original recommendation was, quote, grossly disproportionate to Stone's offenses, end quote. The prosecutors had said, quote, aggravating offenses, end quote, including a witness tampering charge justified their call for a longer prison term. Trump tweeted Monday that the original recommendation was unfair. The Justice Department has said it decided to push for a lighter sentence before Trump's remarks. This is according to CNN and the Associated Press. Number three, Trump easily wins New Hampshire's Republican primary. President Trump easily won the New Hampshire Republican primary on Tuesday, as expected. With most precincts reporting, Trump had nearly 86% of the vote, and former Massachusetts Governor Bill Weld had 9%. Weld, who said he, quote, exceeded expectations, end quote, was hoping a strong showing in New Hampshire would show he could lure away a big portion of Republican voters and boost his long-shot bid for the party's nomination. Quote, if I got 20%, they'd be like, holy, and what's happening here? End quote. Weld told The Hill last month, Trump won the state in 2016 primaries, but lost it to Democratic nominee Hillary Clinton in the general election. His campaign reportedly is aiming to make a strong push to flip the state this year. This is according to The Hill. Number four, Andrew Yang, Michael Bennett, and presidential campaigns. Andrew Yang dropped out of the race for the Democratic presidential nomination on Tuesday after weak showings in the Iowa caucuses and New Hampshire primary. Quote, I'm a numbers guy, end quote, said Yang, an entrepreneur who called for giving every American adult $1,000 a month in guaranteed income. Quote, in most of these upcoming states, I'm not going to be at a threshold 
where I get delegates, which makes sticking around not necessarily helpful or productive in terms of furthering the goals of this campaign, end quote. Yang did not immediately endorse any of the remaining candidates, but said he would consider backing someone if it becomes clear, quote, there's a particular candidate that gives us a superior chance of beating Donald Trump, end quote. Colorado Senator Michael Bennett, another long shot candidate, also dropped out. This is according to the Washington Post and CNN. Number five, federal judge rules in favor of the T-Mobile and Sprint merger. A federal judge on Tuesday approved the proposed $26 billion T-Mobile and Sprint merger. The Justice Department and the Federal Communications Commission last year signed off on combining the third and fourth largest wireless carriers in the U.S., but the deal faced a lawsuit from state attorneys general, New York Attorney General Letitia James, Democrat, last year called the merger, quote, exactly the sort of consumer harming, job killing, mega merger our antitrust laws were designed to prevent, end quote. On Tuesday, U.S. District Court Judge Victor Marrero ruled that the merger wasn't likely to, quote, substantially lessen competition, end quote. The companies say they need to join forces to compete and deliver new 5G service. The Public Utilities Commission will still need to approve the merger. This is according to the Washington Post. Number six, Sudan agrees to hand over former leader wanted for war crimes. Sudan's transitional government has agreed to send ousted former leader Omar al-Bashir to face war crime and genocide charges at the International Criminal Court, the Associated Press reported Tuesday, citing a top Sudanese official. The decision reportedly was part of a deal with rebels to hand over anyone wanted by the ICC, based in The Hague, Netherlands. Quote, we agreed that everyone who had arrest warrants issued against them will appear before the ICC. I'm saying it very clearly, end quote said Mohammed Hassan Al-Tashi, a member of the council and a government negotiator. He did not mention al-Bashir by name or provide a timetable for turning over wanted suspects. Quote, we can only achieve justice if we heal the wounds with justice itself. End quote, he said. This is according to the Associated Press. Number seven, China reports slowing rise of new coronavirus infections. Chinese authorities said Wednesday the spread of the coronavirus outbreak was showing signs of slowing, although 97 new deaths pushed the toll above 1,100. In an attempt to avoid stigma, the World Health Organization has come up with a new name for the coronavirus illness, now affecting people in 25 countries, COVID-19, which stands for Coronavirus Disease 2019. Director General Tedros Adhanom Ghebreyesus tweeted on Tuesday that WHO, quote, had to find a name that does not refer to a geographical location, an animal, an individual, or group of people, which also is pronounceable and related to the disease, end quote. The coronavirus originated in Wuhan, China, and was first detected at the end of last year. About 400 cases have been reported in 24 other countries. This is according to the New York Times. Number eight, Fed chair tells Congress economy in a very good place. Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell told the House Financial Services Committee on Tuesday that the economy is, quote, in a very good place, end quote. Powell added that there was, quote, no reason, end quote, that the nation's record long economic expansion of 11 years and counting should not continue. He warned, however, that the coronavirus epidemic centered in China will affect the world's second largest economy, its neighbors and trading partners. There will, quote, very likely be some effects on the United States, end quote, he said. Powell also repeated the Fed view that its current target range for its benchmark short-term interest rate of 1.50% to 1.75% is, quote, appropriate, end quote. This is according to Reuters. 
Number nine, anti-bias group says white supremacist propaganda cases doubled in 2019. The number of incidents of white supremacist propaganda distributed across the nation increased by more than 120 last year compared to 2018. The Anti-Defamation League reported Tuesday there were 2,713 cases of flyers, banners, and other propaganda being circulated by white supremacist groups in 2019, up by 1,214 cases in 2018. It was the second straight year that the number of cases more than doubled, with a more than 180% jump from 2017 to 2018. Oren Siegel, director of the League's Center on Extremism, said some of the white supremacist material included more subtle rhetoric using terms such as, quote, patriotism, end quote, signaling a possible attempt, quote, to make their hate more palatable for a 2020 audience, end quote. This is according to the Associated Press. Number 10. Siba, the standard poodle, wins best in show at Westminster Dog Show. Siba, a three-year-old standard poodle, was the big winner at the 144th Westminster Kennel Club Dog Show, with the judges naming her best in show. A whippet named Bourbon came in second. Quote, she's just a great dog, end quote. Seba's co-owner, Connie Unger, told USA Today. Quote, she loves the showing. She's in her element when she's being shown. She's really an all-around great dog, end quote. This is the fifth time a standard poodle has been crowned best in show, with the previous wins in 1935, 1958, 1973, and 1991. Seba's handler, Crystal Kloss, said the poodle would celebrate by eating some chicken. This is according to USA Today. That's 10 things you need to know today for Wednesday, February 12th, 2020. Thank you so much for listening to What Makes You Smarter. Keep listening for more. If you want to tell your story, I encourage you to check out my other podcast, What Makes You Famous. Find it everywhere using the hashtag, What Makes You Famous. That's it for me. It's Keys Dan, RadioWhat.com, DJLittleRock.com. Peace. I'm out of here. If you like what you hear, I encourage you to follow What Makes You Smarter on social media. Find it on Facebook at What Makes You Smarter, Instagram at What Makes You Smarter, Twitter at Smarter What, and YouTube. Username Keys Dan. Leave What Makes You Smarter podcast a review and subscribe. Listen to What Makes You Smarter podcast on Spotify, iTunes, YouTube, Stitcher, Google Podcast, and Podcast Addict. My personal favorite. Learn with me on my podcast, What Makes You Smarter. And if you'd like to tell your story, I encourage you to check out my other podcast, What Makes You Famous. Find it everywhere using the hashtag, What Makes You Famous. Call 501-470-6386 and leave a message to set up a time for What Makes You Famous. Support What Makes You Smarter podcast using the PayPal, paypal paypal.me forward slash keys dan email info at radio what.com what makes you smarter is a production of keys dan enterprises incorporated at keys dan.com thank you for listening thank you for listening thank you for